Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shane, your Napa Chef. So today, what I'm doing is a little bit of recycling. So this is my first aquaponics uh, tub, and what we're going to do is convert this into a, uh, a worm farm. So it's a bathtub worm farm. I already have an old frame here that's right against our our chicken house. And I'm just going to sit this in this lip. So you'll see that the um, it kind of has a natural slope, and if you look on the inside here, that's where the uh, the worm tea is going to drain out. We'll just put a bucket under there to catch it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do to um, so that we can collect the worm tea and so that we don't lose any worms is just put in some of this uh, mesh screening, and I'm just securing it down with a, a couple of uh, small rocks, and then we're going to cover this with a layer of, of gravel. So the first thing we're going to do is pour in some of this composted uh, horse manure. Ugly. Worms really are going to love this stuff. Now if you don't have this, you might also uh, just use, um, what is that stuff called? Uh, composted um, mushroom compost. Okay, Zion, so you're going to help out here. Okay, number one, son, go ahead and add the, the worms to the, the compost mix. Right down the middle. There you go. Awesome. Okay, you kind of did it in a big clump, so what we want to do is just kind of spread them out. Wow. Right here. How many worms are in this? It's probably up maybe 2,000, something like that. Can okay. I feed one to the chickens? No, these are not for feeding to the chickens. These are going to make our compost. Okay, oh. now... Go ahead and get the, the table scraps from the bag over there. And we're going to give them some food to eat. You just kind of spread that over the top. Right in there. Now, from what I understand, they like pretty much everything. Uh, you know, we didn't ground this up too, too good, but okay, so that's it. The eggshells, uh, we should kind of crunch those up a little bit more. That should be, be fine because it makes it easier for them to eat. Don't need any paper in here. Let's get that out. All right. So yeah, Wanna some good organic material. Open, That's good. Okay. So we'll check back on this maybe in a week to see how how good they do. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Okay. Here, hold this. I'm gonna put some more uh, soil over it. Watch your fingers. Hold it like I'm holding it. Right there. Okay. Here's a close up on the worms. Okay, so they should be pretty happy now. We look. They get little wormies. They're not there. Alright, turn it off. We're we're done. Right. In three weeks, go through and harvest this back out after they've had time to devour what they've had there and feed right. them there. Harvest it back through there again, and that'll separate the eggs and the little worms from the big ones. Mm -hmm. And then start them over again, just the big worms, you know. So then you got big worms all the time. Now, this one was done like two weeks ago. This bed right here. Right. And I actually fed it some of that fresh horse manure. That's why the sawdust is left from it right there. But... See this here? Oh, wow. These are getting bigger now because they were separated like two or three weeks ago. So mm -hmm. in another week or two, they'd be ready to harvest out, which it wouldn't take long. This high. When, I, when a bed gets full, it takes a lot longer, especially right. that was a holding bed over there. Mm -hmm. so, and I had to put boards on one of these right here to do that with. Here's a close-up on the worms. If 